CIET NCERT presents the audio book Mridang 1 Textbook of English for class 1 Page number 54 Chapter 2 Let us read The Cap Seller and the Monkeys Once there was a man who sold caps He carried many caps in a basket on his head He was a cap seller one day he slept under a tree there were monkeys on the tree they came down from the tree they took away all the caps here we see two different pictures in the first picture we see the cap seller carrying a basket of caps on his head in the second picture the cap seller is sleeping under the tree and The monkeys have come down from the tree and taken away all his caps. Page number 55. The cap seller woke up. He saw the basket was empty. He looked around and up. The monkeys were wearing his caps. Here we see the picture of the cap seller who has just woken up. He looks at his basket which is empty. He then looked around and up also. He saw the monkeys wearing his caps. The cap seller shook his fists at the monkeys. They also did the same. The cap seller scratched his head. The monkeys did the same. What do you think the cap seller would do now? The cap seller had an idea. He took off his cap and threw it into the empty basket. Note to the teacher. The question in the middle of the story is to give children time to reflect and guess. Page number 56. The monkeys also did the same. The cap seller got his caps back and went away happily. Here we see the picture of all the monkeys throwing back their caps in the cap seller's basket. The cap seller now looks happy. Note to the teacher: one, with the help of the pictures, narrate the story in simple English using voice modulation and actions. Two, draw the attention of the children to the details in the illustrations. Three. Ask questions to elicit answers in English. Even if a child answers in one word like cap instead of this is a cap, accept the answer. 4. Ensure that the children have understood the story. After a few days, repeat the story to reinforce the usage of English words. Page number 57. Let us speak. A Answer the following questions. 1. Do you have a cap? What is its color? 2. Why do you think the monkeys threw the caps in the basket? B. What is the first sound of the words in each row? Row 1. Cap, cat, coat. Row 2. Monkey, mango, mouse. Row three, basket, bat, ball. Let us write. A. Circle the words that start with the same sound in each row. Row one, car, tap, can, rat, cat, hat, cow. Row two, mat, man, pan, mango, banana, mug. rug page number 58 b write the numbers 1 to 4 next to the pictures according to the story picture 1 the monkeys are throwing the caps back into the basket picture 2 the cap seller is sleeping under the tree the monkeys have taken all his caps to the tree picture 3 We see a cap seller 
walking with a basket of caps on his head. Picture 4. The monkeys have thrown back all the caps back into the cap seller's basket. Now write the numbers 1 to 4 in the correct order of the story in the blank spaces given under each picture. Note to the teacher. 1. Help children number the pictures according to the sequence of the story. 2. Ask children to try and narrate the story in their own words in English. 3. Even if children use non-English words, accept their answers, but ensure a smooth transition to the target language. Page number 59. C. Let's colour and write. We have four different pictures here. A tree, a monkey, a cap and a basket. You have to write all the correct names in the blank spaces under the picture and also don't forget to colour the pictures. D. Cats, rats, ants and more. Write their names. A. Ant B. B. C. Cat. You have blank spaces under each picture. Write the names of the pictures in both capital letters and small letters. Page number 60. D. Dog. E. Elephant. F. Fish. G. Goat. H. Hen. I. Ink pot. J. Jug. K. Kite. L. Lion. Again, you have blank spaces under each picture. Write the names of the pictures in both capital and small letters. You have blank spaces given here. Page number 61. M. Monkey. N. Nest. O. Owl. P. Parrot. Q. Quill. R. Rat. S. Snake. T. Tiger. U. Uniform. You have blank spaces under each picture here. Write the names of the pictures in both capital and small letters. Page number 62. V. Van. W. Whale. X. X-ray. Y. Yak. Z. Zebra. You have blank spaces under each picture. Write the names of the pictures in both capital and small letters. Now, write your name here. There is a blank space given here. Page number 63. Let us sing. Butterflies. Butterflies, butterflies, up. Up, up, butterflies, butterflies, down, down, down. Butterflies, butterflies, in, in, in. Butterflies, butterflies, out, out, out. Here we see a picture of all the school kids enjoying this lovely poem on butterflies. Would you like to replace butterflies with anything else? Try. Note to the teacher. 1. Sing the song along with actions. 2. Let the children repeat after you and then let them sing it on their own with actions. Page number 64. Let us speak. A. Answer the questions. Teacher. Look up. What do you see on the tree? Child. I see a dash on the tree. Teacher, look down. What do you see on the ground? Child, I see dash on the ground. Teacher, look up. What do you see in the sky? Child, I see dash in the sky. Here we have a beautiful picture of a village. We see lot of greenery. There's a big tree with many animals on it. We also see an aeroplane in the sky. There is also a cow near the tree. 
A squirrel is sitting nicely under the tree. Some birds are also flying in the sky. Now look at this picture carefully and answer the questions. Now look at this picture carefully and fill in the blank spaces. Page number 65. B. Say and clap. Say aloud each line of both the poems, clapping for every word. For example, Butterflies, butterflies, up, up, up. Butterflies, butterflies, down, down. Roly, poly, up, up, up. Roly, poly, down, down. Note to the teacher. For activity A, encourage the children to speak using the given phrases. 2. Provide regular and frequent practice of the phrases such as on the ground, on the tree, etc. 3. Encourage the children to clap for every word in a line. For example, 5 claps for butterflies, butterflies, up, up, up. Page number 66. Let us write. A. Encircle the words that have P in them. The words are Put Mat Sat Cap Top Cat Pat Fan Apple Pink Tan Tap B. Encircle the matching letters in each row. Row 1. Capital T Capital F Small P Capital F Small R Row 2 Small B Capital C Small D Small B Small Q Row 3 Small O Small Q Small N Small O Small R Row 4 Capital W Small X Capital M Capital W Capital V Page number 67 C. Match the words with the same initial syllable. There are two rows of words. Row 1 Hop Sand Jump Run Dance Row 2 Dog Hide Socks Rat Jet let us speak. Listen and repeat. Some words have two syllables. Notice the words below. Monkey. Mung. Key. Seller. Sell. Er. Basket. Bas. Ket. Donkey. Dong. Key. Note to the teacher. Let children clap for each syllable. For example, two claps for mung key. Page number 68. Let us read. Catch me if you can. A fat cat sat on a mat. I can catch you, little rat, said the cat. A little rat saw her and hid in a hat. On this page, we have three different pictures. In the first picture, we see the fat cat sitting on a mat. In the second picture, a little rat saw her and hid in a hat. In the third picture, the cat tried to jump and catch the rat. Page number 69 No, no, you can't, said the rat. The cat ran to catch the rat. The rat ran and hid in a box. On this page, we see three different pictures. In the first picture, the rat is telling the cat, you can't catch me. In the second picture, we see the cat running after the rat. In the third picture, we see the rat running and hiding in a box. Page number 70. The lid of the box did not open. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't catch me, big cat, said the rat. On this page, we have two different pictures. In the first picture, we see 
the lid of the box has not opened. In the second picture we see the rat is telling the cat that it cannot catch the rat. Help the mouse reach its home. Here is a picture of a maze. You have to help the mouse sitting on the left end of the maze to find its way and reach its home on the right side. Page number 71. Let us listen. A. Close your eyes and listen to the words said by your teacher. Cat, bat, fat, sat, mat, hat. What is the first sound in each of these words? What is common in all these words? B. Let us make words by adding one letter to at as shown. The first has been done for you. B A T bat. The other letters are C M F R H. You have five blank boxes. Join these letters with at and make the new words in the boxes here. C. Listen and do the actions that your teacher says. 1. Catch the ball. 2. Throw the ball. 3. Hide under a table. 4. Open your pencil box or bag. 5. Close your pencil box or bag. 6. Say hooray! Page number 72. D. Now listen to the following words. Do you know what they mean? Ask your teacher. Catch. Throw. Hide. Open. Say. Close. Let us read. Try to read the story Catch Me If You Can again by yourself. Let us do. What shall we make? A cat and a rat? Look at the mask of a cat from the last page of your book. 1. Cut out the mask with the help of your teacher. 2. Make holes on the sides. 3. Tie strings in these holes. 4. Your mask is ready to use. We have four different pictures given here to make this lovely mask. Now, think about the steps for making a mask of a rat. Tell your friends how to make a mask of a rat. Are your masks ready? Enact the story. Page number 73. Let us explore. We have a big blank box given here on the page. Look at the insects, flowers, birds, animals and trees around your home. Draw some of these and tell your friends more about them. Page number 74. Let us do. A. Help these animals find their homes. Here we have a picture with five different animals and five different homes. The animals are spider, rabbit, ant, lion and honeybee. The homes are den, beehive, burrow, web and anthill. Now match the homes to the animals and help them find their way. B. Ask anyone in your family to tell you a story about animals. Try to share the story in English in the class. Listen to the stories shared by your friends in class. C. In small groups, choose any story that you heard or shared in the class. Draw pictures for the story. Present the story in class. You were just listening to this audiobook, Mridang 1. Artists, Gaurav Marwaha and Richa Sayal. Technical coordinator, Bati Langdingdo. Sound recordist, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in production, Minakshi Kukreti. Produced by Biblesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.